Good morning everybody and welcome back to Hyrule where today we are in week 11 of building Hyrule Castle in minifigure scale in Lego form and today as you can see from where we are right now if I do a bit of zooming out we are in our prison and you can see that I have gone ahead and I have done the four more cells on the left hand side compared to last week. Now we're here to take a look at that but not only as well as this construction over on this side as well which is brand new and that you guys will have not seen and if you guys know the lock up of um, Breath of the Wild Hyrule Castle you will know what is at the end and I will show you all of the techniques in that at the end of this video. However starting off I wanted to come back to the outside where I've done just a little bit more rock work and you can see that that was purely just so that I knew what I was doing with my prison cells where we have this abnormally small one here which is about maybe a third, two thirds of the original size that it should be. Just to make them fit here, I had to do some angling work before the rock cliff comes out to the end here. There's this little uh, nub jewel on the 3D map here, and um, I believe technically it's supposed to be further along, however, it is here on this. Uh, anyway, if you wanted a detailed technique breakdown for these prison cells, I recommend watching the last video as I'm not going to go over all of it again. However, some notable um, changes or at least similarities to the other side is that once again this top element is still built just as confusingly and goes in a straight line across whereas uh, the rest of it's built on grid as we like to call it. All of them have their drainage feature as normal and the sconces continue and we've replicated as well uh, the little alcove here on the end this time we had a last time we had this one here which was just um having the spider climbing down i've added a couple of crates now we've got an apple and a spear included and this one on the other side is the exact same design just well empty because i don't need to put something in any of them in all of them at least we've also continued the uh, tiling down around here the little paving as you know this turns around to the corner here and as we're not quite done in yet I have not added the chest yet however I have added the uh, metal wall here as you can see this is the grate that you look through and see this chest on the other side and the water goes all the way up to the side before it turns off just like it does in game however that is only the stuff that isn't new once again I have done no work on the back corridor along here that is coming coming soon I still need to work on the area above this however there will was one room that I was particularly excited to get started on and have a play around with and just see how it will turn out and that is over here but before we do that we've actually got to get there so if I lower us down into the lockup and if I zoom through some walls you can see that at the end of our prison corridor you've got this lovely ooh, archway which is built in the same technique as our doorway where We've got some bars coming up through these 1x2 rounded plates with the holes and these connect different bars together at different heights. So you can see we've got a 1x6 here, a 1x4 here, which goes up into another 1x4 which goes up into the top portion of the gate which you can see here. And the idea is that you'd be able to walk through this gap here but you could imagine in universe that this middle bit will slam down to stop the prisoner from escaping if it was necessary. We're making good use of the hollow space inside these 1x8 arch bricks here to store the top part of the bars so they look continuous like they're coming out the ceiling a technique that I definitely think this benefits from you've also got some slope techniques to widen it out and I really really like how this looks I think it looks really really authentic and um, it's just a really nice technique that I don't think we see enough of anyway if we pass through here this is not going to work let me zoom out again and come around the corner you can see that there will be walls here however you turn right and you're faced with another one of these gates exactly identical of which you go through a little tiny space entering into yet another version of this gate however this one's a bit smaller it's just got one on the side and the bigger top and that is all the security that you need to come into the Hinox room. So this is the Breath of the Wild room in the lockup where you get the Hylian shield. There would be a Staunox in here who we will be building at some point in the future of this project. However, the biggest important thing for today was to get the shape of that room down. Now, while most of you may think the room is circular, looking at all of the maps, it's actually a bit of an oval. And while I've accentuated that here just to help with the scaling, um, I still think I captured all the important details. So for those of you who don't know, um, this room is like... Uh, in the canon at least there's like a platform with chains in the center and the theory is that they would have lowered a Hinox in from the ceiling like um, on the land that was on top of this um, and then they kept him in here to train their royal guards and then he died and became a Staunox hence why the all the security of the prison and hence the round shape of the room is sort of like a Colosseum style fight 
Anyway, as for the details, at the entrance, you come down these little steps onto what will be another masonry tiled floor. We're gonna have the central piece in the middle and we'll do that next week. The room is about half stone and half rock work, like they put some retaining walls up to stop the rock work from like collapsing. However, they didn't go all the way up. So up until about halfway, you've got this variety of rock work techniques. And then up just a little bit higher, you've got the columns and then the normal rock work techniques all around the outside. What I've done is I've replicated one half and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna mirror this build or maybe I'll add a couple of little bits of variation. However, you may be wondering about the shape. This is not a shape that I uniquely came up with. This is actually the inner um, Hypogeum from the Colosseum set. This is the exact same size and angles that they used on the walls there uh, to make the um, th the outmost layer of the interior of the Colosseum. I'm, I've put a picture up on the screen for you to see. Either way, you've got these columns at what will be four intervals. We've got one here, one here, and then over the other side you'll have one here and one here. Technically there should be six, but the angles were not working over here, and I prefer the look of having four of them. I really like the way the gate looks, and obviously the around the back you'll have the little plinth where it says uh, those that want to try and, and get the shield, beware, and, and such. And all the kind of messages that you'd expect for this room. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's it's coming along well, and I'm really glad that you can see it just fits in here. I'm gonna be very careful when we do the rock work on this plate, which is not something I'll do until this room is finished. Maybe next week, although probably not. Uh, I think I'd prefer to wait and, and show you guys the interior before I do the exterior, also running a bit short on time this week. Anyway, this was very very tricky to work out so we'll take a look at some of the techniques I wasn't sure about the shaping I tried many many different things but as you can see it is mostly a hinge plate construction if I set this to our origin and we take a look around the outside you can see that most of these exterior ones just use hinge plates however this one one at the back I made use of once again the uh, rounded plates here if it loads you see this one here the one by two with the rounded holes and these just use their um, rounded edges to create this very very subtle curve um, and we're then using a snot technique over here just to fill in as many of the gaps with uh, these wedge plates which you can see here not the most perfect angling but I think it's good enough I think it works well at least for what I'm going for um, and I think it looks good. We're making use again of rounded plates going up the side just so that the uh, sharp corners of squares don't clash or else you wouldn't be able to fit any bricks in here. And they're not too noticeable with all of the jumbly rock work which comes out. You've also got this spot here where it's breaking through the retaining wall like um, it's caused a little bit of collapse. Maybe the Hinox smashed the wall there and some, some stone fell out or something. Either way, um, that's for the detailing stage which will come afterwards. I'm not yet sure about the height of this one. I think it's gonna come down to what that's going on with the roof for this section because I'm still really not sure how it's going to turn out so it may be that this thing goes even higher or maybe I just tile it off and um, call it a day with this area and it will just float loose I don't really have any more details planned I know that it does go up to like a rocky ceiling but that's something that literally no one can ever see because it's so deep in and it doesn't connect to like um, an interior it's not like with the docks cave where people might actually notice and it might benefit from being seen Either way, that's about all I've got to show you today. Some very exciting progress on the Hinox room. I cannot wait to get that finished up as well as start working on this corridor down here. There's nothing really much else to talk about with the prison cells other than the fact that they are finished and it looks great when you compare it. We've now got this almost like entirely enclosed area here and I think it looks great. I cannot wait to keep going with this project. Super, super motivated and I will um, see you down in the next video. So let me know what you thought of this down in the comments and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.